In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted up my recent batch of ogres. And this right here should be the finished article. We start off by using a grey base coat. I just used the Autotech grey spray primer. I then used Vallejo Model Air French Blue on the trousers and washed it with Citadel's Draconoff Nightshade. I then did all the flesh areas with Army Painter's Tanned Flesh and washed that with Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade. Using Citadel's Lead Belcher, I paint all the areas that would be steel. So that includes the breastplate at the front, the sword, the armor on the shoes, and the hook that he's got on his hand. Using Army Painter's Necromancer Cloak, I paint all the areas that are going to be black. This includes the boots, the beards, and the belt that goes around his waist. I wash all the black areas and all the silver areas with Nuln Oil before moving on to Balthazar Gold from Citadel and painting up all the areas that will be brass. That includes any parts of the sword and the belt buckles. Using Vallejo's Random Tan, I paint any of the straps on the model. This includes the ones on the sword and the ones on the wrists. And then I wash all the straps and all the bronze areas in Citadel's Agrax Earthshade. Starting with the first layer, it's Vallejo French Blue again. And I just go over all the top areas of the trousers, leaving the shade in the recesses. I then paint Vallejo's Ivory onto the teeth and all the strap parts leaving the shade in the recesses. For lastly, going to Army Painter's Barbarian Flesh, painting all over the skin, leaving the shade again in the recesses. All you have to do then is paint the base however you want it to be, and the model should look like this, fully complete. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.